From overloaded outlets to e-bikes, we have covered multiple fires caused by lithium ion batteries. Well, now Congress is taking action to help prevent them with a bill introduced by lawmakers from the Bronx and Long Island. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner spoke with people who say they are still impacted by the damage from these fires months later. Shocking video from March 2023 shows how a lithium ion battery charging an e bike sparked a five alarm fire that wiped out a Grand Concourse supermarket and laundromat. A year later, witnesses say it's a miracle no one died, but dozens lost jobs and convenient access to produce. People go really far to buy stuff. Khalid Raja's business next door suffers. There was a lot of foot traffic, so we are down almost 40% of business. The images from that fire propped up behind Congressman Richie Torres as he discussed the Setting Consumer Standards for Lithium Ion Batteries Act on the floor Tuesday. He said between 2019 and 2023, the FDNY reported more than 400 fires, 300 injuries, and 12 deaths from fires caused by lithium ion batteries. Poorly manufactured lithium ion batteries, largely imported from China, are hidden ticking time bombs waiting to detonate in American homes and communities. The bill requires the Consumer Product Safety Commission to establish a safety standard for rechargeable lithium ion batteries used in devices like electric scooters and bikes. The motorbikes should be, you know, regulated at least, if not banned, but at least it should be regulated. Crazy because uh, one little battery can destroy the whole business. I spoke with Torres just before he went on the House floor earlier. Well, one of the safety standards is to require that all lithium ion batteries conform to UL certification, to voluntary standards of certification. So Torres says UL certification. Most of us don't know what that means. Can you kind of help us understand what he's talking about? Yeah, and I think we'll learn more as time goes on. It stands for Underwriters Laboratory. So it's a company that has long studied electronic products and ensures they meet safety standards. So Torres is basically saying if the product doesn't have UL on it, it is not safe. He does expect that the House will pass this tomorrow, the Senate in the near future, and within a year, the president. Wow. Specs will sign this. And as we know, that could make a huge difference. So many fires from these batteries, mm -hmm. especially here in New York City. That's right. All right, Lisa, thank you so much.